Hello and welcome to a set of tutorial videos for Smart Assignment 84. This is for the ALSP class. This lab, at this point, you probably use Smart at least six times, probably more times, and you probably have pretty good familiarity on the operation of Smart, as well as you should know a fair amount about consoles and sound system design. So with these instructions, these video tutorials are going to go rather quick. There are more detailed instructions on paper, I instructions, instructions on paper, so I recommend you follow those. But these videos might help out if you get into a jam first thing to do is to get all your gear together you're going to need your computer running smart and your audio interface with at least two inputs and outputs to do that's working um you're gonna need a measurement mic which i should have provided in the lab it's you normally found in a measurement mic is normally found in the smart rack as well as the calibrator because we're going to be doing sbl calibration in this lab you'll need a console we'll probably use the ls9 because it's small but any console will work you just need a couple ins and a couple outs and it'll be fine the processor we are using a loudspeaker processor for this lab you'll need the smart rack open and ready to go because the drive rack venue 360 we're going to use just very simply but we're going to use it um to get into the software and operate that thing i recommend use the pc laptop i'll talk about that in a moment but you'll need to power up one of the nescom live sound pcs the older one is probably preferred uh and then a pair of speakers a main and a sub VRX is, is what the instructions say. It doesn't really matter. As long as your measurement microphone is not equidistant between them, you want to see at least five feet difference between the two. Uh, they should be, you know, your mic should be offset because you want to do some time alignment. You don't want it to be perfect to start with. Um, and of course, a bunch of cabling, bunch of XLRs, power cables, and your aux cable because you're going to be using your phone as a sound source. Um, to set this all up, you know, power up the speakers, power up the mics, all that kind of stuff. Uh, get your mic plugged into your the audio interface. And um, cabling for the system is pretty simple. Your aux cable is going to drive audio from your phone into the console. You're also going to take the output of your interface and plug it into the console. That'll provide pink noise from Smart. So you're using both your phone and Smart as a sound source. And then the console output. Um, it's really simple here. Left output of the console can go right into the drive rack 360. And the output of the drive rack 360, you're going to use output one is going to go to your main and output two is going to go to your sub. Uh, and of course, you're um, also going to use the right output of that console is going to go back in to your audio interface input number two, right? Input number one of your audio interface is your microphone input audio in, input audio interface input number two is going to be the second output of the console. So pretty bit simple situation, a little bit more instructions here in detail, get that laptop up and booted. And uh, that second laptop, that second is the Nescom Live Sound. Here's the password and all that. And the only real key important thing is make sure you get the Wi-Fi on that laptop to talk to the Smart Rack network. Otherwise, it won't see the drive rack software. I'm going to end this video right here and I'll make another short one for drive rack setup in a second.